Today we're delving into a wonderful topic that will change your life. Let's begin with a powerful insight from Neville's lecture. He spoke of the pearl of great price, a metaphor for our imagination, our divine creative power. The pearl of great price represents the essence of manifestation, the ability to design our lives according to our desires. But to attain this priceless pearl, we must first be willing to relinquish our old beliefs. You see, the path to mastery requires sacrifice. We must let go of limiting beliefs that hinder our creative potential. Just as Neville did in his journey, we too must sell our outdated beliefs for the priceless pearl of imagination. Let's take a moment to explore Neville's journey into the world of astrology and divinatory practices. In his early days, he delved into these mystical realms, seeking answers and guidance from external sources. However, he soon came to a profound realization, true power doesn't come from outside of us, it resides within. You see, Neville understood that relying on external forces or signs for direction was like searching for treasure outside of ourselves when the real treasure lay within. He recognized that the true architects of our reality are not the stars or the cards, but rather, the divine spark that resides within each of us. This realization marked a turning point in Neville's life. He shifted his focus from seeking answers outside of himself to looking inward for guidance and wisdom. He embraced the truth of his own divinity and recognized that he held the power to shape his reality with his thoughts and beliefs. But what does it mean to embrace the truth of our own divinity? It means recognizing that we are not separate from the source of all creation, that we are, in fact, co-creators of our reality. It means acknowledging that the same power that created the stars and the galaxies resides within us, waiting to be unleashed. When we embrace our own divinity, we step into our true power. We no longer see ourselves as victims of circumstance, but rather, as masters of our destiny. We understand that we have the ability to manifest our desires and create the life we truly want to live. But embracing our divinity is not always easy. It requires us to let go of limiting beliefs and societal conditioning that tell us we are small and insignificant. It requires us to reclaim our power and take responsibility for our thoughts, words, and actions. Yet, the rewards of embracing our divinity are immeasurable. We experience greater freedom, joy, and fulfillment as we align with our true purpose and passion. We become the architects of our reality designing a life that reflects our deepest desires and aspirations. So, how can we embrace the truth of our own divinity? It starts with shifting our perspective from one of lack and limitation to one of abundance and possibility. Instead of focusing on what we lack, we focus on what we have to offer the world. We also practice self-love and self-acceptance, recognizing that we are worthy and deserving of all the blessings life has to offer. We cultivate a deep sense of gratitude for the abundance that surrounds us, knowing that the more we appreciate what we have, the more we attract into our lives. The truth sets us free from the shackles of doubt and fear. When we awaken to our innate power, we transcend the limitations of the physical world and become fearless creators of our destiny. So, what does it take to attain the pearl of great price? It requires a radical shift in consciousness a willingness to let go of all beliefs that undermine our divine nature. Neville's message is clear. To fully embrace our divine identity, we must let go of any beliefs that hold us back. Imagine your beliefs as old clothes that no longer fit. You wouldn't hesitate to discard them and make room for new ones that suit you better. In the same way, Neville urges us to sell every belief that doesn't align with our true nature as gods of our reality. But why is it so important to shed these outdated beliefs? Well, think of it this way. If you're carrying around a heavy backpack filled with rocks, you'll struggle to move forward. Likewise, if you're weighed down by limiting beliefs, you'll find it difficult to manifest your desires and create the life you truly want. So, what are these beliefs that we need to sell? They can take many forms. Doubts about our abilities, fears of failure or inadequacy, societal conditioning that tells us we're not good enough. These beliefs act as barriers, preventing us from realizing our full potential and claiming our birthright as gods of our reality. But here's the thing, these beliefs are not carved in stone. They're simply stories we tell ourselves, based on past experiences or external influences. And just like any story, they can be rewritten. 
Neville teaches us that we have the power to choose our beliefs, to decide which ones serve us and which ones no longer belong in our lives. So, how do we go about selling these old beliefs? It starts with awareness, recognizing when a belief is holding us back and acknowledging that we have the power to change it. Next, we must be willing to let go, to release our grip on these beliefs and make space for new, empowering ones to take their place. This process of letting go can be challenging. After all, these beliefs may have been with us for years, ingrained in our minds and hearts. But remember, you are the master of your own destiny, and you have the power to choose which beliefs you want to hold on to. One technique Neville often recommends is the practice of mental revision. This involves revisiting past experiences and rewriting the narrative in a way that empowers us. For example, if you've always believed that you're not good enough, you can revise that belief by affirming your inherent worth and value. Affirmations are like magic words that have the power to transform our lives. They're simple statements, but they carry immense power. When we repeat affirmations regularly, we're essentially reprogramming our subconscious mind, the part of our mind that holds our beliefs and influences our thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Think of your subconscious mind as a garden. If you plant seeds of negativity, thoughts like, I'm not good enough, or I'll never succeed, those seeds will grow into weeds that choke out the flowers of positivity. But if you plant seeds of positivity, affirmations like, I am worthy of success and abundance, or I am capable of achieving my dreams, those seeds will flourish, nourishing your mind and helping you blossom into the person you want to be. Repeating affirmations regularly is like watering those positive seeds, helping them take root and grow stronger. The more you repeat your affirmations, the more deeply they'll sink into your subconscious mind, gradually replacing the negative beliefs that once held you back. But affirmations aren't just about saying words out loud. They're about embodying the truth of those words, feeling them resonate deep within you. When you say, I am worthy of success and abundance, Imagine yourself standing tall, shoulders back, head held high, radiating confidence and self-assurance. When you say, I am capable of achieving my dreams, picture yourself taking bold, decisive action, moving closer to your goals with each step you take. It's important to choose affirmations that resonate with you personally, that feel true and authentic to who you are. Your affirmations should reflect the reality you want to create for yourself affirming your inherent worth and potential. And don't be afraid to get creative with your affirmations. Write them in a way that feels natural to you, using language that speaks to your heart and soul. Repetition is key when it comes to affirmations. The more you repeat them, the more deeply they'll sink into your subconscious mind, and the more power they'll have to transform your reality. Make a habit of saying your affirmations every day, ideally multiple times a day. When you wake up in the morning, before you go to bed at night, and any time in between when you need a boost of positivity. But don't just recite your affirmations mechanically. Really feel the truth of those words sinking in, filling you with a sense of confidence, empowerment, and possibility. Visualize yourself living the reality you're affirming, experiencing the success, abundance, and fulfillment you desire. It's normal to encounter resistance when you first start using affirmations. Your subconscious mind may rebel against these new ideas, clinging to the familiar comfort of old beliefs. But remember, change takes time and persistence. Be patient with yourself, and keep repeating your affirmations, even if you don't see immediate results. Trust that the seeds you're planting are taking root beneath the surface, ready to blossom in their own time. As you continue to repeat your affirmations, you'll start to notice subtle shifts in your thinking and behavior. Negative beliefs that once held you back will begin to lose their grip, making way for new, empowering beliefs to take their place. You'll feel more confident, more capable, more in alignment with the reality you want to create for yourself. Ultimately, the key to selling old beliefs lies in cultivating a mindset of openness and possibility. Instead of clinging to what no longer serves us, we must be willing to embrace the unknown and trust that something better awaits us on the other side. Manifestation is not about relying on external methods or forces. It's about harnessing the power of our imagination to create the life we desire. Imagine your imagination as a magical gateway to a realm of endless possibilities. 
This incredible power within you holds the key to shaping your reality in ways you may never have imagined. Think of your imagination like a canvas waiting to be painted upon. Every thought, every image, every idea you conjure up has the potential to manifest into existence. It's like having a superpower at your fingertips, one that allows you to create the life of your dreams. But here's the thing, your imagination is only as powerful as you make it. To truly unlock its potential, you must learn to control and command it with intention and purpose. So, how do you harness the power of your imagination? It starts with understanding that your thoughts are the building blocks of your reality. What you consistently think about, you bring about. Therefore, by directing your imagination toward your desired outcomes, you begin to shape the world around you. Let's break it down into simpler terms. Suppose you have a dream of starting your own business. With your imagination as your guide, you can visualize every detail of your venture, from the products you'll sell to the customers you'll serve. As you immerse yourself in this vision, you'll start to notice subtle shifts in your mindset and behavior. You'll feel more motivated to take action toward your goals. You'll begin to see opportunities where once there were obstacles. And gradually, your dream of owning a successful business will start to materialize. But it's not enough to simply daydream about your goals. You must actively engage your imagination by vividly picturing your desired outcomes, feeling the emotions associated with achieving them, and taking inspired action to bring them to fruition. In essence, your imagination serves as a bridge between your present reality and your desired future. It allows you to explore infinite possibilities and create a life that aligns with your deepest desires. Now, let's talk about how you can become the master of your destiny through your imagination. It all boils down to taking conscious control of your thoughts and beliefs. Instead of allowing your mind to wander aimlessly, you must steer it toward positive, empowering thoughts that support your goals. For example, if you're struggling with self-doubt, you can use your imagination to visualize yourself as confident, capable, and successful. By repeatedly affirming these qualities in your mind's eye, you'll start to embody them in your daily life. Similarly, if you're facing challenges or setbacks on your path, you can use your imagination to envision creative solutions and overcome obstacles with ease. By maintaining a positive outlook and trusting in the power of your imagination, you'll find that doors begin to open where once there were walls. But here's the beauty of it all. Your imagination knows no bounds. It's not limited by the constraints of time, space, or circumstance. With your imagination as your ally, you can transcend perceived limitations and tap into a reservoir of infinite potential. You are always manifesting, whether you realize it or not. But to manifest consciously, to create the life of your dreams, you must first awaken to the power within you. Neville Goddard, a wise teacher of manifestation, once shared a profound truth. Your consciousness is the only reality. This statement holds immense power and depth. Let's break it down in simpler terms. Imagine your consciousness as a light within you, illuminating your thoughts, feelings, and perceptions. Everything you experience, every thought you think, and every emotion you feel arises from this inner light. Now, consider what Neville meant by calling consciousness the only reality. He was suggesting that your awareness, your inner state of being, is the primary force shaping your external reality. In other words, what you hold in your mind, what you believe to be true, is what manifests in your life. Think of it like this. If you constantly dwell on negative thoughts and doubts, you'll likely attract more negativity into your life. But if you cultivate positive thoughts, affirmations, and beliefs, you'll begin to see positive changes unfold around you. This understanding is key to unlocking your manifesting abilities. Once you grasp the truth that your consciousness shapes your reality, you become unstoppable. Why? Because you realize that you have the power to change your circumstances simply by changing your thoughts. Let's consider an example to illustrate this point. Suppose you desire financial abundance, but you've always struggled with feelings of scarcity and lack. According to Neville's teaching, your current financial situation is a reflection of your dominant thoughts and beliefs about money. However, once you embrace the truth that your consciousness is the only reality, you can begin to shift your focus. Instead of dwelling on thoughts of scarcity, you start affirming abundance. You visualize yourself living a life of prosperity, 
feeling grateful for the wealth that surrounds you. As you persist in this new mindset, you'll start to notice changes in your external reality. Opportunities for financial growth may present themselves. Unexpected windfalls may come your way. And gradually, your financial situation will align more closely with your desired reality. This example demonstrates the power of conscious manifestation. By understanding that your consciousness shapes your reality, you can intentionally direct your thoughts and beliefs toward the outcomes you desire. But it's important to remember that manifestation isn't just about wishful thinking. It requires active participation and consistent effort on your part. You must align your thoughts, feelings, and actions with your desired reality. Moreover, manifestation isn't always instantaneous. It may take time for your desires to fully manifest in your life. But by staying focused, maintaining a positive mindset, and trusting in the power of your consciousness, you'll gradually see your dreams become reality. So, remember to affirm your desires with unwavering faith. Speak it into existence, knowing that your imagination holds the power to manifest anything you desire. We need to replace negative, limiting beliefs with positive affirmations, and focus on what we want to attract rather than what we want to avoid. By doing so, we create an energy that aligns with our desires and attracts similar energy to us. The language we use has a profound impact on our subconscious mind. The words we use on a daily basis become deeply ingrained in our subconscious and shape our beliefs, habits, and ultimately our reality. Therefore, it's crucial to be mindful of the words we use and the messages we send to our subconscious mind. By being intentional with our language, we can reprogram our subconscious mind to think positively and attract positivity into our lives. Conversely, if we constantly use negative language, we can reinforce negative beliefs and attract negative experiences. To take control of our lives and shape our reality, we must pay attention to the language we use and feed our subconscious mind with positive affirmations and messages. The main goal of reciting affirmations is to send a message to the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind doesn't have the ability to reject or say no to the commands we give it. It can only accept and act upon the messages we send. Unfortunately, many of us have programmed our subconscious minds with negative thoughts and ideas about ourselves and our lives. However, we have the power to reprogram our subconscious minds by using affirmations. By using positive affirmations, we can rewire our brains to think positively and attract positive experiences and opportunities. It's essential to understand that the words we use can shape our lives. We can attract more positivity and abundance into our lives by using affirmations and altering our thought patterns. By becoming more mindful of our words and using affirmations, we can take control of our lives and create the future we desire. So, now that we understand the power of words, how can we use affirmations to transform our lives? The process is simple, but requires dedication and consistency. To transform our lives and reprogram our subconscious minds, we need to begin by identifying the negative beliefs and thoughts that we have about ourselves and our lives. These limiting beliefs may hold us back from reaching our full potential and living the life we desire. Identifying these negative thoughts is the first step in creating positive change in our lives. Once we have identified these negative beliefs, we need to create positive affirmations that counteract them. For example, if we believe that we are not good enough, we can create an affirmation that says, I am worthy and deserving of all good things. By repeating this affirmation several times a day, we can see that we are not good enough. By repeating this affirmation several times a day, we can start to reprogram our subconscious mind to believe in our worth and value. It's important to make these affirmations specific and focused on the areas we want to improve in our lives. We can use affirmations to counteract negative thoughts about our health, relationships, finances, and any other area of our lives that we want to improve. If you believe that you are not good enough, create an affirmation that says, I am worthy and deserving of all good things. Repeat this affirmation to yourself several times a day until it becomes a habit. Remember to use the present tense and make your affirmation specific and focused. Repetition and emotion are two powerful tools that can help us reprogram our subconscious mind and attract positive experiences into our lives. When we repeat positive affirmations with enough emotion and conviction, 
our subconscious mind accepts them as truth and starts to act upon them. The reason behind this is that the subconscious mind doesn't have the ability to reject or say no to the commands we give it. It can only accept and act upon the messages we send. Therefore, when we send positive messages through positive affirmations, our subconscious mind starts to accept them as truth and makes them true in the physical world. It's important to note that the subconscious mind is somehow intertwined with the holographic matrix we live in. This means that the things we believe to be true will be manifested in the physical world, as the universe will move heaven and earth to make our beliefs come true. In other words, our beliefs and thoughts have the power to shape our reality. If we believe in lack and limitation, we are more likely to experience these things. But if we believe in abundance and success, we are more likely to attract these things into our lives. Using affirmations can be a powerful tool for reprogramming your subconscious mind and creating the life you desire. By incorporating affirmations into your daily routine, you can shift your thought patterns and attract more positivity and abundance into your life. Taking control of our subconscious mind is crucial, because if we don't, something or someone else will control it for us. It's the responsibility of every individual to monitor the words they use and feed their subconscious mind with positive affirmations. When we learn to control our subconscious mind, we can change our reality and create the life we desire. When we start standing on our affirmations as if they are true, even before they are, and mix that with conviction and emotion and repetition, it becomes true for us because the subconscious mind accepts it as truth. These are simple but powerful tools that can help us transform our lives. It's important to pay attention to our self-talk and ensure that we are kind and generous to ourselves. The language we use to speak inside of ourselves becomes our outward experience, and our self-talk becomes our destiny. We have the power to change our reality by changing the words we use and the thoughts we entertain. As the ancient wisdom goes, life and death is in the power of the tongue. We must master the rules of taming the tongue and use our words wisely because we are always in the driver's seat of our lives. Starting our affirmations in the present tense is crucial because the subconscious mind doesn't understand the past or future. It only knows now. While it may take bravery to say that we are something before we actually are, it's the brave who change the world. You can have everything that you want in this life only if you are a little open-minded. By being open-minded I mean you have to trust that there is infinite good to go around. The supply of money and all the good things is never-ending. You can have all that you desire, and then some more still, it wouldn't make a difference to the supply. Also, sometimes we know that we are the creator of our own reality, but we tend to become unaware of it when life gets in the way. If you are listening to me right now, then I am very sure that you have been acquainted with the fact that you and only you are the operant power. That's the first lesson we all learn in the realm of manifestation. But like any other knowledge, the results start showing when you embody the knowledge in your everyday life. Just knowing something is not enough. It wouldn't dramatically transform your life. But what will transform your life is applying that knowledge to practice, in everyday situations, in the most mundane circumstances. So, this brings me back to my original question. How often do you remind yourself that you are the operant power? That you are the creator of your reality? And being the creator, a lot of responsibility lies on your shoulders. Just imagine the universe has given you this enormous privilege of writing your own destiny. Isn't that what one could wish for? Still, the majority of us tend to fall back to our old state of victimhood. Perhaps that's because as kids we were taught that we were at the mercy of circumstances or that life is tough and challenging. I don't know what you were conditioned to believe, but it is one of the main reasons why you are not embracing your inner power. But what I am going to tell you just now will change your life. This advice will help you get in touch with your inner power, and will help you manifest everything that's on your mind. So, whenever you have the desire to manifest something specific, or you want to change your life overall, I want to assign some work to the universe, or the higher consciousness and do some work yourself. It's much like the division of labor, and it's applicable in manifestation as well. So think of your manifestation as a project that you and the universe both are going to work on. You will be assigned some duties, and you have to fulfill them as best as you can. Also, the universe will be doing some things for you, and rest assured, 
it will do its very best to make things easier for you. But one thing you have to understand is that you are just responsible for doing your part. What you assign to the universe is its job, and you don't need to interfere or get anxious about how that will be done. I am telling you that if you just understand and memorize this one principle of reality creation, you will become a master at creating things and conditions at will. Now let's talk about what are your duties in this magnificent project of a lifetime. Well, the very first and most obvious is to know what you want to manifest. You need clarity for manifestation, like you need oxygen for breathing. It's that important, but sadly, most people don't pay attention to this crucial aspect. So you have to create a vision for yourself. This vision will be the blueprint of the life you are about to manifest. It will be your North Star whenever you will get lost in the way. So make sure that you have a compelling vision. See yourself living the life of your wildest dreams in your vision. See yourself with the money, health, and power that you desire. See your relationships adding joy and comfort to your life. See yourself achieving all the goals that you never believed you could. Creating this vision and getting clarity over it may take some time, but be patient with yourself while doing so. I want you to have a future vision that speaks to your soul, that gets you excited about your life and your future. It must evoke the emotions of joy, freedom, and bliss in you. Once you have carefully curated that vision in your mind, then your next task is to mentally rehearse it, so many times that it becomes a permanent part of your psychology. For this, you would have to make visualization an integral part of your daily life. Fix a time when you can sit in for a visualization session every day, and then make sure you do your sessions at that very same time each day, no matter what. This is all that you have to do. Nothing impossible or challenging, right? Trust me, that's all you need to do toward your manifestations. The rest is the job of the higher consciousness. So, you have just clearly stated what you want to manifest through your regular visualization sessions, and now it's the universe's job to bring it to you. How that happens is none of your concern. You have to let go of the tendency of trying to figure things out, because it's a futile exercise. The universe works in magical ways that are way out of comprehension by our analytical mind. Our analytical mind, no matter how sharp or clever we think it is, can only go so far. It cannot become aware of or calculate the infinite ways your desire can come to us. The money you want can literally show up in your life without ever lifting a finger. I am not encouraging you to sit back and do nothing, but I am just trying to open your mind to the infinite ways that what you want can come to you. The relationship you want can also manifest for you without you having to put yourself through dating sites and bad experiences. Just imagine how perfect that would be. That happens when you become an attractor. You just attract things to you. You don't run after what you want, and you never chase anything. You just use your imagination the right way and things you have desired start lining up at your door. So, just let go of trying to figure out how it will come. It can drop right from the sky this moment for all you care. But once you have put your faith in the universe, you must know it's a done deal. All right, there's one more thing I need you to give up worrying about, and that is, when will my desire be manifested? That's such a game changer because most of us are so impatient and fickle in our thoughts. We have this innate tendency to question our own self-worth and our power from time to time. And with the same mindset, you start questioning if your desires will ever come true. So, as I said, the perfect solution to this dilemma is to leave this matter to the universe. Just imagine having access to the energy that creates worlds, that is powerful enough to do everything. And since you are a manifester, you have direct access to this amazing force, so you can be sure that whatever you want is making its way to you right this second. At its core, the burning assumption is a philosophical construct that hinges on the idea that belief alone can bring about any outcome transcending the constraints of time, space, and physical action. This concept is steeped in the mystical traditions of ancient cultures, from the Eastern philosophies of Buddhism and Hinduism to the Western teachings of Hermeticism and Neoplatonism. These wisdom traditions have long held that the mind is the primary force shaping our reality, and that our beliefs serve as the building blocks of the world we inhabit. Belief is an intangible force that exists in the realm of the unseen, yet its influence on our lives is undeniable. Our beliefs shape our actions, emotions, 
and even the way we perceive the world around us. They serve as a filter through which we interpret our experiences, coloring our thoughts and feelings in accordance with their particular hue. When we hold a belief with unwavering conviction, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy as our thoughts and actions subconsciously align with the reality we have imagined. The burning assumption posits that belief is not merely a passive process, but rather an active catalyst that can transnote the very fabric of reality.